抱歉，没抱歉。Okay, good afternoon, people. Today we are at JB again. From the night market video, you guys already know I want to do this one time me. Okay, uh, but the other day it was sold out. We are at City Square actually, which is right, right at the custom lah. Okay, while back, uh, I did the night market video, and actually I want to come here and do the one time me, but it ran out. Okay, so today we're back here again. Fortunately, okay, fortunately today they still got they still got noodles left. Okay, this place is at level six of City Square. Uh, I asked a few local and I asked this local chef. His name is Chef Leong. Okay, happens to be my producer's uncle. Okay, so he recommended this wonton noodle. He said it's one of the best in JB. Already. Okay, so we're gonna head in. Uh, we're gonna order today. Most likely it's gonna be a challenge. I uh, I don't have my big plate. So we're just gonna order a whole bunch of noodles and then uh and then we eat lor. Okay. So I talk to you guys a bit more inside. Okay, let's head in first. Come, let's go. Okay, so uh again this place is called Ho Sing Ki. Not a sponsored one, uh, okay. Uh they don't have a very big menu, uh, okay. Behind there's a lot of other items, uh, but the mains are uh, the main noodle dishes uh, is their wonton mee, the prawn dumpling mee, the good old days, good old days mee, uh, which is the, it comes with like fried egg with like pork lard on it, like crispy pork shallots, pork lard. The last one is the pork belly, which is the one with, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna order one of each first, and then we figure out which one I like the most, now we will keep slamming one item. I got Steven and Sean with me uh, today, so we can probably order a bit more. Uh, they, yeah, they do have some other like sites to order like, like some your typical uh, fried wonton, your uh, ota, that, that, that sort of thing. Okay, so yeah, let's order the noodle. Then I talk to you guys a bit more when the food is here. Customizable. Texture, look at the texture. You can, you can have it like, you know, softer, harder. You can have the noodles a little bit more wet, a little very dry. You want it to be very soft, super hard, very customizable. Then the oil, you can have extra oil, you want pure vegetable oil. And then the sauce, you want it a bit more salty, without sauce, less salty, spring onions. And then the wonton, you want what sort of wonton, you want char siu. It's super customized, there's like at least 60 over variations that you can choose from. The viewer actually got me some roti boy. He said it's very very good. Got me some of this and I felt I felt them bad. Okay, he, he's uh he's from Malaysia and he's working in Singapore. So the next time when I when I when I see him in Singapore I'll buy him a meal. But uh yeah, I really appreciate this. Okay, but today we're here for one time noodle. This one I'll eat it later after all this. Okay, let's get started. Okay, actually. This is the wonton one, okay? Um, let me just start from their uh, typical wonton noodle first, uh, this one. Okay, the black one. I asked for normal chili, I hope it's not too spicy. Okay. Let's, let's eat one bowl first, now, and then we start talking. Hiccup, hiccup. Okay, 
Ah, não. The taste is just this very old school kind of taste. The flavor, right, of the pork lard is actually very, very prominent. Okay, next up. I'm gonna try this one. This is the... This is the pork lard noodle uh, with two eggs. They call it the good old days one. The good old days noodle or something. Okay, mix it up real good. this one. Uh, the sauce is like, the black sauce, uh, a little bit sweet, a little bit savoury, very, very tasty. And I like the addition of the pork lard. Very simple plate of noodle, this one. But it's very nicely executed. This one, right, this is the white variation. They didn't add the black chili sauce. Okay, this is the white one. Okay, so this one is the shrimp noodle soup. Look at that. The dumplings are super... Okay, wait, a bit of disturbance. The robot is here again. Because the order allowed noodle. Okay, next one I'm trying. This one, okay, I picked a different sauce. Huh? I picked the white one instead of the black one. The white sauce, I see a lot of local uh, getting the white variation and then this one is actually this it comes with this look. this is the the stream I'm not sure if it's the stream one ton or pork one ton but it looks humongous uh, I'm just gonna try mm. and a combination of stream and pork uh. mm. try the white noodle Actually, I like the white one more. Uh, the white one is a little bit less sweet and it the taste of the chilli is more prominent. I really like the chilli. Mm. Oh, but the shrimp one time is super big, look at that. Okay, next up, this is the, they call it the pork, what, pork some more, pork slice, oh, pork belly. This one, they call it the pork belly noodles. Uh, I got the black one, and then it comes with soup. Okay, initially I thought that it's gonna be like, you know, those braised pork belly on it. But instead, right, it's like, it's in the soup. Uh. And this kind of shabu shabu pork slices. Okay, we're just gonna try and see how, how, how this tastes. I think special. Uh. <laughs> but it gives quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of the pork slices. Okay, next one, uh, this one. This one, I uh, purposely I got the tomato sauce one. I just want to try and uh, see how it tastes. 
tomato sauce and then we fry one ton. So I got a feeling I will not like the tomato ones because it might be a little bit too sweet for me. Hey, the fried wonton is quite good. No joke. Wow. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna like the this one. I, I don't think I'm gonna order. I'm gonna order this one again. The tomato ketchup is too. I know it's too sweet, too ketchupy for me. For for something like wonton noodle. But the fried wontons are very good. Okay, the one thing that I want to highlight about their noodle uh, you Give me a close up Okay, the noodle right, it's not our, not the typical mi kia It's kind of flat eh? So it gives it a very different texture it's, it's got a nice chew to it Despite the fact that I order normal So if you order like hard right it might, it might taste, I don't know, like have more of a ramen kind of texture. I think, I think. Okay, overall it's good, it's good. The noodles is very good. Uh, sauce wise, I think if you keep whacking the black sauce, right, it gets a bit, it gets to you, it gets to you. I don't know why, sometimes uh, I cannot leave the ordering process to Sean. Uh. He ordered all black. All the noodles are all black. Now the taste is starting to get to me. Eh. Wait, I'm just gonna wait for I ordered another four more, four more bowls of the white one. Just gonna let him eat one. Okay, while I, while I settle the rest. Okay, I, I, I really, I'm really quite. This this old, old good old days uh, noodle, right? Really reminds me of when I'm in primary school. Uh. This so in primary school, right, there is the canting store, right? They sell this kind of noodle. They sell this kind of noodle, right? And then, uh, hey, no, they, they sell this like uh, white rice with one like sunny side up egg and the black sauce like that. So I think it's 50 cents back then. You guys know my age already, right? So yeah, 50 cents back then. And I, I eat that all the time when I was in school. And this thing reminded me of that thing. But do I have pork lard? Lah. Okay. Oh, so I eat the So I got to move. Yeah, wait. I'm gonna add a bit of that green chili. See if it enhances the taste. Honestly, I think just the sauce and the chili that that comes with the noodle is good enough. Really. Good egg. Good egg. I'm really in love with that black sauce. I'm gonna switch the flavors a little bit since the white ones are here again. I'm gonna switch it to the white one. Okay, from now on, 
I guess I've given enough tasting notes already. Now it's, it's challenge already, okay? We are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Oh my god. 14 bows in, eh? I think for their noodles, right? The normal doneness, right? Just get the normal one, it's, it's just nice. Don't go and like ask for extra hard or something. Normal is good enough. I just saw from their menu uh, the noodle right they put there 100% protein so I don't know because I know it's egg noodle but if 100% protein right meaning that they, they didn't use any sort of wheat in there uh, cannot be uh. but it's dense like I can, I can tell you guys the noodles is not your typical egg noodles it feels as if it's gonna sit in my stomach for like at least two days that kind of, it's very dense very cow very filling not a bad thing like, I mean when you come here and eat you want the food to be to stay in you for a while to have high protein and all the noodle they put that very high protein so I don't know uh. I wish I can give you guys the macros but I can't okay we are I don't know how many bowls in already but oh, it's starting to hit me already. from now onwards like I say it's gonna be challenging Okay, so right now we are we eating quite fast, right, guys. We are only, only 30 minutes in. Uh. The totals here is about 21 bowls. Eh. 21 bowls and plates. Uh. The plates are the more strong ones because the plates are, are bigger, like two eggs. Uh, 21. I ordered another four bowls. So we're just gonna slowly. I'm not sure if 30 is doable. But we'll see. We'll see. I think 25 is definitely doable. But we'll see how because. These two gentlemen on my right already cannot put down any more food. Eh? They starting chong like two to three bowls and then they just stop completely. Okay, robot is here again. <laughs> Okay, so you guys can see I am pushing down there, so uh very difficult for me to talk and push at the same time. At this point, okay, at this point, I have probably eaten over like 4.5 kilos of noodles. Really. I'm really pushing it. The noodles are extremely dense, okay? I will go and understand a bit more from the boss uh, what sort of noodles is this. Uh, not, it's not dense in a bad way. It's dense because it has a nice ramen, al dente, firm ramen kind of texture. It's pretty good, but it doesn't sit well in the stomach, okay? So this is why you guys can see I'm, I'm, I'm I can't just one slurp everything because the noodles are not soft so I have to like sort of chew a little bit Okay, 
Okay, so uh, from what I understand, I, I had a 15 minutes, 20 minutes chat with the boss just now after I'm done filming because I'm having nursing that food coma, so I'm, I'm sitting here just talking with him. Their noodles, right, they use duck egg, okay, not your typical chicken egg, so duck egg, so more prominent flavor, uh, a lot more firm. Like I mentioned, uh, when you come into here, right, it's as if you're ordering from a ramen store. You get to choose the, the, the firmness, you get to choose like uh, you want it to be a little bit more wet, you want it to be a little bit more dry, you want it to be more firm. Very, very customizable and they put in a lot of effort uh, to make the egg noodles. So, so this is why the, the price is on a, it's sort of, sort of a little bit more pricier because he himself told me that it's more atas, la, which is true. La. I mean, it's a little bit pricey. The total amount that I spent today is a little over 110 SGD. It's, I, I don't think anyone would spend 100 over dollars to eat one ton noodle. Okay, so my go-to for this noodle is definitely the white one. I know a lot of people would like the black one, but my personal preference is the white one. They actually started from only the white variation. Okay, the white one uh, with, with, uh, with from noodle, from noodle, chili, uh, yeah, that's about it. So you get, but it's, it's like I say, every bowl comes with a five one ton. So you guys can see my face right now is I'm really dying, okay? Over like five kilos of like one ton dark egg noodles in me. Very, very dense. Okay, so uh, continue watching the video. I'll talk to you guys at the end. Okay guys, so towards the end, I apologize because I was trying to push. This is one of my like limit breaker already. So I was trying to push very hard. So, okay. the On my left, are all these are the soup, okay? The soup bowls. On my right is all the noodle bowls, okay? So we did a total of 30 bowls, okay? I'm not sure the other two uh, gentlemen, how many bowls they put down, but uh, I, think I, I, think I, I think I did at least 20. At least 20 bowls. Uh, but yeah, so this one is rough. Okay, I when I first look at the bowls of noodles, right, because I ordered a medium one, which is still uh, a, a, like a good size. When I order medium ones, right, they are actually pretty. They look small, okay, but actually they are very dense. And every bowl, I think there's five one tons in there, so uh, it adds up to be a good amount. Like, I think I at least put out about six kg of food here today with the soup and everything. The noodle wise. Not the best I've eaten, okay? Not the best one time me I've eaten, but it's still good, okay? It's good. Uh, whether is it the best in JB, I don't know, okay? I, I need to try more one time noodles to be sure, but uh, today is definitely a good stretch, a good challenge. Uh, I believe I push hard enough for you guys, okay? So if you guys like more JB content, remember to give this video a like. There'll be more traveling content coming up. Uh, Bangkok is next month, okay? As promised, Bangkok is next month, and then after that, subsequently, we will be going back to KL again. We're going to Taiwan, Korea, a uh, few other countries. But uh, today is just a quick JB one because Sean came in. I I I came in with him uh, today. The guy filming is actually his videographer. Uh, his name is Brian. Relatively new to the scene. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.